Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo for the best new music.com, and today we're talking about equipment failure. I'm gonna take this tape, whatever, it's fine. Just go, go. <clears throat> so, thanks for tuning in. I know I took like a little bit of a break, I was trying to work through some stuff during New Year's. Like, visiting family and just work. Like, I, I work like a dog. I was doing events and stuff. Now, I'm, I'm not humble bragging or anything like that, but I was really busy in December, and I'm thankful for it, and hopefully next year I hope to be just as busy, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so today's topic is uh, equipment failure, and it's something that happens to me every New Year's without fail. I don't know what it is. But something goes wrong, and it's a catastrophe. And somehow I work around it. Um, I'm analytical like that. Like, I, I solve problems. And so, like, anything that happens, I'll figure out a, wor a workaround, whatever. But, again, this happened to me this year. So, actually, two years ago, um, I was doing New Year's, and something happened with Tractor. And I don't know if it was my controller or whatever, or I mean, not my controller, my sound card or the software, but this tractor was just acting buggy to high heaven. And luckily, I was carrying my SL1. So I just switched on a dime, and you know, New Year's went off without a hitch. Nobody even knew, really. And that's kind of one of the main reasons why. Uh, if I'm doing an event, I'll come at least an hour, two hours ahead so that, you know, I can prepare for, you know, testing out equipment, see what happens. So this year, um, I was using CDJs instead of turntables, and one of the CDJs just died, just absolutely died. And it, and it happened, excuse me, I'm just getting over cold. So it happened during the sound check. So um, the left one was good, you know, spinning around, doing whatever, and that was fine. And the right one went down. And <clears throat> I have, I was using Tractor, and so I have my X1, which is hands down the greatest purchase I've ever made in my entire life for DJing. I love the X1 so much. I will... I will not, yeah, I won't even say it. Listen, I love the X1. It's the greatest thing Native Instruments has ever created. And so I had that, and I was thinking, okay, if I have to just use one CDJ and the X1, that will be good. That I can work that out. And uh, fortunately, the venue had another one. So they replaced the, the crappy CDJ out and put out the other CDJ. And, you know, the rest of the night worked perfectly, actually. Uh, request was down to zero, I think. Uh, it was a good night, man. Everybody had a good time. It was a lot of dancing. So I, I count that as a win. But, you know, it just goes back to my earlier point. Like, if you're playing, if you're not using your own equipment that you can vouch for, you should always, always go early and double, triple check your equipment, whatever you're working with. If And if you're using like the venue's equipment, a mixer, a CJ, whatever. You should have backups, and you should definitely have a workaround in place just in case. Even if you have to leave it in the car and run out to the car or send someone out to the car and get it for you, you should have another way of playing. And, I mean, the last, last resort is playing music off your phone, but, you know, you should have options. And, I don't know, it's just something about equipment nowadays that is just... It's so unreliable. Like, I I don't know. I'm, I'm not even going to get into the old back in my day kind of thing. But I don't know. Something today about equipment is just so unreliable. It either breaks like a year or two after you buy it or, you you know, like it just dies in the worst, worst time ever. So because of that, I just, I'm paranoid. I'm super, super paranoid. And that's the other reason why. Uh, I backed up all my music on an external hard drive, but I never play music from an external hard drive. I know a lot of DJs swear by it, and they don't want to keep music on their computer, but 
I'm I'm Alex Jones paranoid about DJ. I don't know what it is. It's just years of things going wrong. I don't know. So that's why <clears throat> I think there there's a certain rules for DJs that no matter what, never update your software before a gig. Never, never, never update your software before a gig. Always use your software. If you buy something new, <clears throat> use it for weeks, days, hours at least. Get Put it through the paces before you actually go to a paying gig with it. Um, and, you know, always come early. I think those are those are my... And, and I have a backup. So I always back up your music. <laughs> always back up your music. But, like, if I have four things... That is a must for new or even existing DJs that have been doing it for a long time. I think that would be it. it it's so vital just to have options. And, and that's another reason why I believe that, you know, you should be able to play on different formats. So I'm primarily a Tractor user. I love Tractor, even though I, I'm not even getting to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love Tractor, but... I can play just as well on Serato, if not better, and I'm I'm okay in Pioneer, uh, Pioneer and DJ, uh, Record Box, whatever. I'm um, I'm okay with it. I'm an, I'm a good enough at it. To, uh, I can use do an event and it'll be exactly like my set. I probably wouldn't do tricks or remixes on the fly on that till I get a little more comfortable, but. Um, <clears throat> Yo, my throat is killing me. I'm just, just it is what it is. Just let go. Just it is what it is. Um, yeah, uh, I'm okay with Pioneer. I'm trying to get better, and um, because I don't own um, some Nexus 2000s, I have to rent them, and they're kind of expensive to rent over here. So I'm really, I use them when I can, <clears throat> but. Um, it it I'm coming along because I can see the writing on the wall. Pioneer is probably gonna take over the world, so I may as well get familiar with my overlords now before it's too late. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a, a whole other topic, and I'll get in that another day. But anyway, so um, I always feel like you should be familiar with other DJ equipment. So if you use controllers you should know how to play on turntables or cdjs like you really should if you you play on turntables you should know how to dj on a controller and i think honestly i think it's helpful because it'll make you a better dj using these different styles and you also learn different things about software and music and and you'll approach it in a better way or a different way i should say a different way so i just want to make a quick video um hope everyone's good stay tuned to the channel it's gonna be a couple changes i am planning to make more videos now that the christmas season new year's crap is over with and things are back to a normal schedule so uh stay tuned i got another video coming up um maybe tomorrow or sometime friday we'll see how it goes still editing it getting better at the chopping and shizzle Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And peace out, bitches.